<laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great video with Samo. And your boy Dylan Yeller. Today, guys, we're talking about Cardiac Kimba. Is he really Cardiac Kimba still? Because he didn't look too much like it in the playoffs. Now, my sister's a Celtics fan, guys. I try to tell her Kimba never played in prime time like that before. He mm -hmm. was he was the spotlight too big for Kimba. I think it was because you look at Kimba's numbers. This is his playoff stats. 19.6 points per game. That's a little down from, you know, Kimba's average numbers. 5.1 assists per game. Shot 44% from the field. Not terrible, but only 31% from three. That's kind of glaring. And Kimba had some opportunities to have some big games and some big moments, but he didn't. And when you really look at the Celtics team, mind you, very young team in my opinion, there were games in the playoffs, plenty of games, where Jason Tatum had to take over to get the win. Plenty of games where the Celtics were looking flat and Jalen Brown going to turn up for one quarter, he going to turn it up to pick up the pace. Get some clutch deals, go down, get the dunk, whatever he had to do to jazz up. Marcus Smart Marcus as well. Marcus Smart as well. There was plenty of times where the Celtics looked dead and Marcus Smart took over. He cussed them guys out in the locker room. <laughs> I can't think of a time where I'm like, okay, Kimba's taking over for the Celtics. And mind you, the Celtics got Kimba to take them over the hump. Kimba was supposed to be that last piece. He was supposed to fit in and get them over the hump. Get them, to, get them to the championship. Granted, they did go further than they did last year, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but the Celtics are looking for finals appearances, all right? Eastern Conference Finals is not going to cut it for the Celtics, especially in the East that was wide open. So let me give you some numbers for Kimba. Now, he did have some pretty good games. Game four versus Philly, which Philly was very discombobulated. I'm not taking nothing away from Kimba, but... Philly wasn't a normal Philly. Ben, know that. ben Simmons wasn't there. You know that. So game four against his Philly closeout game, he did have 32 points, four rebounds, four assists. That's good. Potential closeout game. Kimba stepped up, got the job done. Okay. Game one versus the Raptors had 18 points, 10 rebounds, um, three assists. Oh, excuse me, 18 points, 10 assists, three rebounds. Not bad. He had a double double. Pretty good. Game three versus Philly. Um, going back to the Philly series again. You know, gotta go up 3-0. So I mean, kind of a big game. 24 points, um, 4 assists, 8 rebounds. Solid. Not nothing crazy, but solid. But his bad games were way more glaring and way worse spots than his good games. And mind you, his bad games, the fact that we can go into the playoff series and pick out times where he was above average, not a... Not a yeah. You didn't see he, you didn't see the fierceness in him. Like yeah. I said, you can pick up times where you're like, okay, Jalen Brown is putting this team on his back for the next 10 minutes. You can pick up times where you saw Jason Tatum. You saw him for the heat. Bam goes off. Hero goes off. Jimmy, Jimmy goes, goes off. off. Somebody is going off. Kimba never was that guy for the Celtics. And mind you, they got Kimba kind of was going to be, okay, he could take us farther than Kyrie Irving took us. And he took them farther health-wise. Right. I mean, he stayed healthy, whereas Kyrie might not have. But was Kimba a good... Did Kim? Was Kimba what they wanted him to be? Uh, I'm going to say not really. Listen to this. Game 6 versus the Toronto Raptors. Mind you, yes, they did win this series. But this is Game 6, a potential closeout game. Boston was up 3-1. to one, And... This, these were, excuse me, three to two. These were Kemba's numbers. Five points, seven assists, four rebounds. Kemba, five points. And mind you, that game ended in um, Toronto winning 125 to 122 in double overtime. Kemba. Jay, and mind you, I think Jason Tatum had like 39 points. Jalen Brown had 31. Five, Kemba? And not to mention, guys, there were so many times. I wish we had the rights to pull up highlights and pull up plays, low lights. But there were so many times where Kimba, the Celtics went down to the wire with the Raptors. The Celtics yeah, went down to the wire with the Heat. There were so many times where Kimba was just missing open shots when the Celtics needed them the most. That three-point shot was Baroque the whole series against Toronto and Baroque the whole series against Miami. When the Celtics needed him the most, y'all, his cardiac heart was not beating. Mm -mm. 
Let's talk about the Celtics fans because Celtics fans are obviously mighty disappointed. In my opinion, remove Kimba Walker. Obviously, your expectations for Kimba Walker should be broken. You should be upset with Kimba. Right. But Celtics team, the Celtics went very far. They're a very young team. Very young team. Spirited. Like we said, Marcus Smart is about it. Jalen Brown is about it. Jason Tatum's about it. Given that they keep their same core, y'all know how the NBA work. Y'all know how the NBA work with the moving trades. They know everybody gone tomorrow. The Celtics could definitely get back there. Is what do you think about Kimba's future in the Celtics? Mind you, um, sorry, I'm going on. Kimba said his final presser. We had a lot of fun. Kimba, baby, you ain't in Charlotte no more. You ain't there to have fun. Right. You there to you, win chips. You're there to win in Boston. You had a lot of fun, yes, because you had the most primetime games you've ever had in your whole life. Exactly. You have fun. Exactly. But Jason Tatum, bitch. Jason Tatum, <laughs> Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, they all been there before. They're right. And they were there to win. So what do you think about Kimba's future in Boston? I mean, I think obviously he's going to continue. I mean, this is only the first uh, year. Of, I think he has like a three or four year deal. can't mm-hmm. remember off the top of my head. So Kimber's going to be there for a little bit. I don't see them trading him or anything like that because there was progression. And um, the Boxers did take a step forward, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, so Kimber's going to be there for the foreseeable future. But he has to do better. Going into next season, there's a target on his back because Jason Tatum showed out the whole whole playoffs the whole time in that bubble jason tatum show he was about it about it looking like a young kobe bryant i mean jason tatum had times where he took over games he was playing lights out and that was multiple 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 games not just one or two or three games like kemba jason tatum balled out in every single series he jason tatum at least had two games in every series where it was just like wow this guy's putting on the show so and jalen brown had very promising um moments marcus smart did his thing, bringing the defense, the energy, doing exactly what Boston paid him to do. And um, one thing, again, one thing real quick that the Boston Celtics can kind of look forward to with Silver Lining. You didn't have Gordon Hayward for most Man, of the when series. when Gordon came back, what he do? I mean, Gordon, I mean, he, you, he never, I mean, he only had, what, two games to play? Um, something like that. But anyways, Gordon, but Gordon Hayward. Gordon, you've been there before. You've been with that team. Okay, but Gordon can still contribute. And, you know, he might have made a difference. You never know. All I'm saying is, Kemba. When Jason's number was called, he answered the bell. When Jalen Brown's number was called, he answered the bell. Marcus Smart answered the bell. You did not. A target is going to be on your back next season when the Celtics are in the playoffs because they will be back. And when y'all are in that position to make that championship run, you better be cardiac Kimba again. I better see more of them UConn step backs game winners than I did than I saw in these um, playoffs because I really didn't see it. So Kimba, you got to step up. You, there's a target on your back. We see it now. We get we giving you this one year. We giving you this one year because yes, you haven't been in these playoff positions before. This ain't Charlotte no more, like Simone said. You in Boston? You in the chips? You better get your act together. All right, now let me eat in the Kimba one last time before we <laughs> end this call. Kimba, 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 Kimba was that dude in Charlotte. I told you I did my internship with the Charlotte Hornets. Kimba plastered everywhere, mm-hmm. but Kimba had no expectations. Nope. But uh, Wednesday, family four-pack night, we just hear no expectations for our team. Just come out and smile. Not a Wednesday family four-pack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he had no real expectations in Charlotte. Kimba, of course, this is his first year with some real expectations outside of college. We all know the stage is very different yep. from college to the pros. Kimba, you're in Boston now. They're here to win. I'm sure Marcus Smart is yanking at his collar, cussing and fussing in that group chat um, with the Celtics. But Kimba, like we said, we've seen your potential. We've seen what you can do. Now that the lights is turned on, wake up. You're definitely going to be tuned in to Kimba. Like I said, he never played in prom time before, y'all. He ain't playing so many back-to-back real games. I mean, right. has he ever played in a real game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he into the playoffs twice with the. I'm with the saying, Warriors but though. okay, the conference finals though with yeah, the Celtics, nah. that fan base. Exactly. There's no real fan base in Charlotte. That's a fact. That's a fact. Half the people in North Carolina don't even know that and, North Carolina has and, a team. And, and the Charlotte Hornets have no type no, of history compared make, to the Boston Celtics. They don't make any. What's that? The team Bama's a little bit. Half of North Carolina doesn't even know the Hornets exist. The other half still think it's called the Bobcats. Oh, no. Bobcats. 
Lastly, the Hornets never make any moves to win. Um, and Jordan respect them him. He's the goat. He's making his coin regardless of the family four packs. And look, they never make any moves to win. And, and now that Michael never Jordan had expectations to win like he has in Boston, but um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I got one more thing to say real quick. And now that Michael Jordan, real quick, just <laughs> about the Charlotte Hornets. Now that Michael Jordan, you thought he wasn't paying y'all no mind before. Now they got that dad's car to deal with. Boy, y'all, y'all, Charlotte Hornets, y'all might as well just, everybody that's halfway decent and got some more potential on there, y'all might as well request a trade because he not paying y'all no mind no more with dealing with that dad's car, boy. Y'all finna be the, y'all finna, y'all finna be the red stepchild. Mm. Jay hey, Collins side of, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let us know what you want to see Poor in our next video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.